Hi, it's Katrina! From coins with strange shapes to coins that glow in the dark, here are 10 of the most incredible coins in the world that you have to see to believe. Number 10. Pyramid Coin, Isle of Man the Isle of Man, situated in the Irish Sea between England, Ireland, and Scotland, is a self-governing territory that's mainly known for the treacherous motorcycle races that take place on its winding roads, and for its population of corporations dodging taxes. But the island is also home to some of the more unusual legal tender coins in the world. In 2007, the UK wanted to commemorate the Tutankhamun exhibition that opened in the O2 Arena in London, and so they released the world's first ever pyramid-shaped coin. On one side was an image of the young boy king, while on the other was a portrait of Queen Elizabeth, just like every other coin that's issued on the island and in Great Britain. While in theory you could use these coins in the local shops, it's unlikely many people actually did. First, of course, is the uncomfortable prospect of keeping these rigid triangles in your pocket. And the second is their purchasing power. They are worth 25 pence, but cost around 13 pounds to buy from the Pop Joy Mint, which is 52 times their face value. If you can get one, hold on to it. Number 9. Geometric Coins, Somalia The Somali government has released a number of unusual coins over the years, and one set from 2008 were particularly unusual. They were made as three-dimensional geometric shapes, each of which represents a different basic substance from the ancient world. There is a pyramid for fire, a cube for metal, an orb for earth, a cylinder for wood, and a cone for water. Made from cupro nickel and with silver plating, each one is inscribed with the coat of arms of Somalia. The set is entitled The Year of Math, and each coin has a $1 denomination. This range was so popular around the world that it was reissued in 2014, with a set of coins from this year currently retailing for around 180 US dollars. Number 8. Mammoth Coin, Ivory Coast The economy of the Ivory Coast in Africa was once dominated by the export of elephant ivory, which is thankfully now virtually non-existent due to strict regulations worldwide. It's still an important part of the country's history, however, so much so that it's still in its name and the coat of arms includes an image of an elephant head. In 2010, the government decided to release a commemorative 1,000 franc silver coin that contentiously actually contains a piece of ivory inside it. This piece of tooth doesn't come from an elephant, though, and is instead a piece of fossilized mammoth tusk. Because these animals are long extinct, the trade in ivory collected from their remains isn't controlled, so these coins are allowed to be transported around the world and used as currency in the Ivory Coast. There are two versions, one with a silver mammoth on one side and the other with a golden mammoth. Both feature the Ivory Coast coat of arms on the other and were produced in limited quantities, with only 3,000 being minted in total. Perhaps surprisingly, this isn't the only time that ivory has been featured in a coin, as five years later, Niger released their own version which has a fully colored image of a mammoth on one side. And now for some scented coins, but first, do you collect coins? Let me know in the comments! And be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell if you're new here. We'd love to have you! Number 7. Scented Coins, Republic of Palau Scented coins? Yep. The Republic of Palau is a collection of more than 340 islands in the Western Pacific and is known for its pristine environment and for being the first place in the world to create a shark sanctuary where commercial shark fishing was banned. With an economy that heavily relies on tourism, particularly for diving, it's no surprise that between 2009 and 2011 they released a series of coins, each of which was scented to elicit a sensual connection with the image that they portray. The series, called Scent of Paradise, began with a $5 coconut and white sand beach coin, which is imbued with the smell of coconut. The following year saw the release of the Sea Breeze coin, which features a surfer on an azure blue wave and smells of the sea, while in 2011 they released the Incense coin, which, when you rub it, releases the unmistakable scent of incense. Pretty cool, right? Kind of takes me back to childhood with the smelly markers. The main images of each coin are colored, while on the reverse of each one is an image of the king of the sea and a mermaid, with the phrase that people often affectionately use to describe the island chain. Rainbows end. Number 6. Cosmic Fireball Coins, Fiji In 2012 and 2013, the Cosmic Fireball Collection was released in Fiji. It was a series of commemorative $10 coins, which contained fragments from meteorites that had fallen in various places around the world. 
Each variety has a see-through window with the pieces, as well as a design based on the meteorite and the location and date where it was found. Those on offer include ones found in Brenham, USA in 1882, Jilin, China in 1976, Chesigny, France in 1815, and Neuschwanstein, Germany in 2002. On the reverse is an image of Queen Elizabeth II, along with another window to view the fragments and the date when the coin was minted. Each coin of the series is a unique piece of space memorabilia, and the nine made from silver can now sell for as much as $200, while the German one, which is made with gold, sells for around $1,000. That would be a cool thing if you're a collector. Have you ever heard of these? Number 5. Cannabis Coin, Republic of Benin between 2010 and 2011, the Republic of Benin released the Plants of the World series of coins, each featuring a specific plant with pictures of it and, once again, scented! Doesn't it seem difficult to get the scent of a plant into a coin? They were each worth 100 CFA francs, and while one of them was dedicated to the national flower of the country, the one that stands out as the most unusual is the Cannabis Edition. There were three different versions, a gold and silver coin with a green image of the plant on them, and a copper and nickel version that was molded into the shape of a leaf, complete with all of its anatomy. Rubbing one of the sides releases the unmistakable scent of a cannabis leaf. But before you get too excited for the possibility of getting high from these coins, the scents are artificial. Furthermore, only 2,500 of these coins were ever produced, so acquiring one now probably makes them some of the most expensive marijuana leaves on Earth. Number 4. Butterfly Coin, Cameroon In 2011, Cameroon was the first country to release a coin in the series titled Papillon Exotique, which translated from French means exotic butterflies. Unlike most coins, which rely on images etched into the surface, these ones were designed in a way that made them seem like they were actually alive, with a butterfly perching on a flower. The silver crowns, which have a legal tender value of 1,000 West African francs, feature a 3D model of a Chiroxis fornieri butterfly, which is native to the region. In the years since, further countries have released their own versions. In 2012, Tokelau minted a $5 coin. In 2013, Andorra made a 5 dinar version. 2014 saw the Central African Republic produce a 1,000 francs design. In 2015, one was created for Equatorial Guinea. 2016 was Tanzania's turn with a 1,000 shilling coin. 2017 saw Mongolia's version at a legal tender value of 500 togrog. And the final one to be released was Palau's $20 coin in 2018. Each nation's coin has a butterfly that's endemic to that region, except for the final coin which featured each butterfly from the previous seven. Highly prized for their aesthetics, a full set of these coins now costs far more than their individual values. Number 3. Tuni, Canada In 2017, the Royal Canadian Mint released a coin that was the first of its type in the world. Designed to mark Canada's 150th anniversary, the $2 coin, known as a Tuni, depicts an image of the Aurora Borealis above two canoeists on a lake and was made with ink that glows in the dark. It's not actually the first glow-in-the-dark coin that the Mint had produced, but the previous versions, such as one that had an image of a dinosaur, were made in limited numbers as collector's editions. More than 3 million of these new tunies were produced and went into general circulation, which not only made the coins in Canadians' pockets a lot more interesting, but made it much easier to pay for beers in the darkness of pubs and bars. Number 2. Easter Island Moai Coin, Cook Islands from the moment Easter Island was first discovered by the outside world, the giant volcanic rock moai that were created between 1250 and 1500 AD and lined the coast became instantly iconic. Although a part of Chile, the island is one of the most remote inhabited places on the planet and is part of the collective heritage of the Pacific Islands. In honor of this, a commemorative Easter Island moai coin was released by the government of the Cook Islands in 2007. The $10 proof silver crown featured images of four moai. Three of them are silver, but the one in the foreground is gold-colored metal and is actually completely removable from the coin. It rests in a depression in the coin's surface, and the metal piece can be placed standing up into a groove to create a 3D work of art. Number 1. Guitar Coins, Somalia Probably the most incredible coins to have been released in recent times are from Somalia. In 2004, they designed a set of six to commemorate the 50th anniversary of rock and roll, and these are unlike any coins you've ever seen. 
With a face value of a dollar, they are each made from silver-plated cupro nickel and are shaped like famous designs of guitar. The collection includes a red and white Gibson Le Paul, an American flag Gibson Flying V, a black Gibson Flying V, a pink star guitar, a blue Gibson Explorer, and a yellow Klein. The collection went on to become one of the most popular ever, so they released a second set in 2012, which again were based on renowned guitar designs from rock and roll history, such as the red rectangle used by Bo Diddley, Jimmy Page's double neck Gibson, Neil Young's white falcon, and one in the shape of the US map. On the reverse of each one is the Somali Republic coat of arms. And while it may seem incredible that you can actually use these, shops in Somalia accept them as legal tender. Of course, coin collectors around the world are willing to pay far more than one dollar for one. Thanks for watching! Have you ever seen any of these coins before? Do you have any in your collection? Let us all know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!